right back at you. It's the Kid 50 Cent. This is your boy, Weezy M. Baby. Yo, what it does? This your homie, Rick Ross. This, this is your boy, Gucci Man LaFleur. You're, you're in the mix where? This is the KOP Aftermath. Right here, so keep it locked. It's the KOP Aftermath. You're, you're locked into the man. Check, check, check this out. Here we go. It's time. You're live and in the mix with ATL Zone. KLP, Kenny Lucas. Yo, 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 what's going on? This is Jersey Drake. Hi, this is Rihanna. Hey, what's up? This is Luda Chris. What's up, y'all? This is Nicki Minaj. You're, you're rocking with the best. It's the number one station, Blaze in the Airway. Right here, so keep it locked. What's up, y'all? This is Beyonce, and you're listening to my this station. Powered by the Core 94. This is KLP. Aftermath with your Kelby Kennedy Lucas. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we got T up in the building and we're ready for another exciting podcast here today. It is a beautiful, and I do mean this, it's a beautiful, beautiful Tuesday. I hopefully you guys have had a fantastic day. It's been a very, 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 very hot day, ladies and gentlemen, and we're loving it. It is the springtime, pollen season is here. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, it is the heat season. And before we know it, T, right, you know, summer is going to be around the corner. May is around the corner. I'm excited because not only we're filming so much stuff in May, but it's the summertime. It is the beginning of season three of KLP Aftermath. I've got a big birthday coming up. I'll be turning 26 May 12th. So there's so much that's coming around the corner that we're ready for for this semester and for this year. Of course, May starts the summer season, of course, season three. And we have so much pr- uh, production style of things that are in the works right now up until the summertime. Of course, we're filming uh, quite a few things. I can't really disclose too much about quite just yet because we're still in the production side of it but uh yes we did start the post-production of our documentary street style the documentary we filmed in new york city and we're also working on quite a few partnerships and quite a few other production companies are coming together to uh, work with us of course so summertime is around us so i hopefully you guys have been enjoying today because it's that it's that that feeling that it's really 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 extremely nice outside and i say to everyone out there take advantage of that because you know when there's sunshine there's a little bit of rain and when it's raining it's gonna rain heavily this uh, this season because it's the spring season getting it ready for the summertime and we got we all know around june july there's a lot of rain days that comes up so take advantage of that because it it, it is here one day and then next day it's going to be uh, raining and then who knows ladies and gentlemen the next day might be snowing we don't know so we, we we're here in atlanta georgia where georgia weather it's a little bit iffy some things are changing so uh, hopefully you guys ready for another show i'm ready for another show because we have so much we got to talk about so we're going to get dabbled right into the news of course but I got a uh, shout out to I got a shout out our sponsor. Flex Living is our official sponsor right now for KLP Entertainment. All you guys got to do is go to our website. We have this new line, ladies and gentlemen, Swanky Fit and Cross Flex Living. Of course, you guys do not want to miss this promotion, uh, promotional sale for this spring season. Of course, you guys can go to our website at www.lucas904.winks.com slash KLPE go there type in swanky fed there's a tab in it type it uh click the tab there and it links you to our official swanky fed page where you can do is your shopping and get this ladies and gentlemen you have to put in the code you have to put in our code kennedy lucas klp all caps again that's kennedy lucas klp all caps so that way you guys can get up to 20 percent discounted on all purchases from Le- from flex living so take advantage of it you guys do not want to miss it uh, just don't don't miss it y'all because there's a lot of things now of course we have a must a must watch list and this is kind of just an announcement right because i can't talk about this movie yet because i haven't went to go see this movie uh this movie came out in march and now hbo max just announced that the batman will be coming april 18th that is next monday i know i will be around town in atlanta because we're going to creekside high, uh, high school to do production but when i get home later that night i will be watching Watching the Batman so that way that next following day that next podcast day I can give you guys a full review of the Batman um, just a, just an announcement that next week's uh, episode we're going to be talking about the Batman uh, I might give you guys an hour special for that I have to watch the movie first so I can't talk about it on today's show because I haven't seen the movie and I don't want to go to theaters to go see this movie if it's coming out for HBO Max 
in a couple days. That just makes sense. So uh, just stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for all of that. Now we're going to get on to the juiciness of this show. And let me tell y'all, T, shout out to Tyrus Lester, y'all, because he makes sure we sound good on his end. But we got to get a little edgier here on today's show because, you know, we had a great conversation today. Of course, me and a couple of co-workers and a couple of uh, people I work with, with the uh, Emory side of things, we had a good conversation today. And I'm not going to bring them out, bring their names out because I don't want to put them on blast like that. But the, we had a good conversation uh, about this. And, you know, this was a topic of conversation. And I do hope that other podcasters talk about it. Uh, I do hope that Ox Beats kind of talk about it because we're in this age now that, you know, a lot of people are getting older. And this is kind of an edgier segment here on today's show. And this is kind of relating to, uh, I want to say, my age group now. And I say that because... Yes, I'm 25. Um, a lot of people that are in my my age group are getting married. I know quite a few friends who have gotten married last year. Um, I know two people. I'm not going to name because I don't want to put them on blast like that. But I know two of my athletic friends. They just got married this past weekend. Congratulations to uh, those two. Of course, uh, Colum and Tiffany Rodriguez. I followed them on Instagram. Congratulations to you guys. You guys got married. Um, but this is a topic of conversation that I've had with some friends of mine and some co-workers of mine and I just really wanted to talk about this and this is kind of going hand in hand for that because uh, the elephant in the room for us kind of goes out to Cam Newton and the reason for that being because uh, the Breakfast Club did talk about Cam Newton, right? And what he said on social media, catering to men's needs. And and he said something about, you're not a, 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 a boss B word. And we're not going to say the actual word because we're, we're, we're trying to keep it PG. But a boss B word. But he says, you're not a boss B if you, if you can't listen, if you can't be quiet, if you can't leave the man alone and cater to the men's need. And this is why he's the elephant of the day, because... Cam, we're in this we're in this society today where you can't say that to a woman, right? You can't say, "Oh, you need to be learn to be in your place. You need to learn to be quiet when men are speaking." I don't agree with that. Angela Yee didn't agree with that. I don't agree with that. I believe that, and me being you know a feminist a little bit, I believe in women independence. If you guys don't know me by now, I believe in women independence. I believe that women have the ability and the capability to do whatever it is they want to do in this world and become very independent i don't agree with this market cap i don't believe in this i don't i and I, this is just me being new school right and then there's a lot of us nice guys out here in this generation where we believe in new school i believe that the woman is able to go out and do her own thing is able to purchase her own thing and feel humble about it um I don't believe that women belong in the kitchen or belong to do laundry and to cook for us. I don't like that, you know, and I, and I say this to a lot of people today, you know, hey, my future girlfriend, whoever she is out there, she's really going to love me because I'm a real gentleman and I believe that she's going out and she can do her own thing and I'm going to clap it up, right? I'm going to clap it up. Now, this is the conversation that I wanted to propose on this show. And this might go be an hour show because there's just so much that I wanted to go on. And I think I've talked about this kind of segment before in previous shows in the past. But, you know, where when is the time where the dude does not commit? And that's the question I propose to a lot of people. This is a great topic of conversation because there's a lot of dudes that want to and I, I'm trying to keep this PG because this is a PG show honestly T but there's a lot of dudes that want to get in right and they want to date and they want to uh, they want to have that intimacy that intimate relationship but when the bill comes due they don't want to pay that bill they, they want to throw their hands up and say oh nope can't do it there's some choice words I want to say on the show but I you know again we're PG and what I mean by that you know a lot of guys in this generation they want to come out they want to date a girl. They want to take the girl out, showboat. They want to uh, slide into them DMs, if you guys know what I mean, PG-wise. You guys know what I mean by sliding into them DMs. You know, sliding in, they want to do that, right? But when it's time for you to commit to a girlfriend, or some of you might already got a girlfriend, to where now Christmas is coming up, Valentine's Day is coming up, her birthday is coming up, and now guys want to throw up their hands and say, well, nope can't do it nope so i wanted to propose this example right and i'm gonna be very careful about 
who told me this story because I did tell her that I wanted to I'm going to talk about I, I, I asked her first can I talk about this this instance but I won't bring up any names I'm just going to bring up this as an example as a scenario and you take it how, how you do it but one of my friends told me this was a friend one of my friends told me that she has a company to where she uh buys and sells shoes like anything a lot of people buy and sell things i'm actually trying to get into the market to where i can buy things and sell them and her market cap is shoes right she had this client that come up to her and say hey you know you're you're the best plug quote unquote to get these shoes how can i get these shoes at a discount my friend my friend gave her client a discount so shoes that ran for x amount of dollars and i'm using this as an example because i told her i won't give it i won't say the names i won't give the numbers because i don't want to hinder her business but she promised her client x amount of dollars right x amount that hey this is the amount that i'm able to give you at a discount there you go and now that her client bought the shoes at a discount now she goes back these her friends come back to her and say hey great can i also get a discount for my girlfriend and here's the question i propose to a lot of people out there and they, these are questions we me and my friend we talked about these questions and this was a very great topic of tonight's show when does it become a little bit extreme and the why what i mean by that is here's the question i propose to a lot of people on the radio on the, on air tonight would you and this is something and i'll give you guys my my answer would you ask the friend that has the hug, the hookup, that's the plug that sells the shoes. Would you ask that friend, hey, can I get a discount on my girlfriend's uh, shoe that she wants and I won't buy uh, my shoe? Or would you buy your shoes at a discount from this friend, this plug, quote unquote, and say, hey, I want to play. I want to pay full market cap for my girlfriend's shoes. Here's the question that I, and that's the question I propose to a lot of people. And you know, we don't, we're, we're, we're pre-recording our show, so we won't get a response to you guys through the forum, but here's the answer to my question. And you ready for this one, T? I know you ready for this one because you know, T, T laughs at me because he knows that I'm, I, 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 when, again, like I say, when I get my girlfriend out there in the, in the universe one day, she's going to really love me because I will lay it down on the line for her. This is the answer what I would do. And I told my friend this and we talked about this. Me, if I'm going to a friend that says, hey, um, I'm going to pass on the discount on my shoes. Can I get a discount on my girl's shoes and not buy a, a discount for my shoes? Can I just get an only discount for my girl's shoes because it's her birthday next week? I want to surprise her with these shoes. I would do it that way. There's a part two to this. If I couldn't get a discount on the shoes i would pay full market rate for the shoes for my girlfriend if that's the one that i truly love and i really want to surprise her on her birthday next week for an example um i would do it i will pay full out market cap if my girlfriend really wanted these shoes and i really wanted her to enjoy something very special on her birthday i would pay full market rate for these shoes and I think there's there's a little bit of lax in this because her friend, her client, my friend, her client, he paid a discounted price for the shoes. Now he wants a discounted price with his girlfriend. So that way he doesn't have to spend so much money. Honestly, for a lot of guys out there, and it's a sad, sad but true kind of statement that a lot of guys, not just here in Atlanta, but we're in this generation that guys in this generation don't want to commit to somebody now i'm not saying don't want to commit to marriage because i'll be honest i ain't i'm not even looking to be married you know marriage is so overrated i think young marriage doesn't work i'm sorry to say i know a lot of my young friends that recently got married congratulations if it works out congratulations i'm not gonna put that negativity out there in the universe personally for me I don't see young marriage working out the way I want it to. So that's why for right now, I'm not committed for marriage. I'm not committed to have kids. And that's just solely my opinion, right? But I am committed to the girlfriend. And I think a lot of people should be committed to their girlfriend because you don't know that woman can change your life. And it's kind of a, a, a upsetting thing for us guys in our generation, right, T? Because, you know, you got these guys who are not committed and 
they're they're treating their girlfriends like crap and then you know they just want to hit it and quit it i'm trying to keep it as pg as i can but I, it's hard you some guys just want to hit it and quit it say hey hit it and bam i'm out i'm out the door and i say to a lot of ladies out there and this is catering to a lot of um young young love because i see it i see it all around at, at emory university i see the young love and i I don't number one, I don't get jealous, right? I, I love to see young love because you know they're going to college and they're experiencing some things that are different from high school. Hey, I get it. I understand. There's a lot of people, a lot of students that I've seen that I can tell, okay, yeah, your boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, yep, you're dating this person. Um, I say to a lot of my my young ladies out there in the universe who are, are experiencing this young love. Um, always remember to know yourself, right? Always remember to know your worth, know your value. Don't devalue yourself for a guy. Um, never do that. I'm sorry to say, but never do that. Know your worth, know your value, know the person first before you guys get serious. Know the person first before you're thinking about a serious relationship, you're thinking about marriage, you're thinking about sex. Know these things first before you get way into deep into this program, way into deep into the love game because us dudes, not me, but young dudes in our generation, a little bit in the younger generation, they're not ready to commit. You might find that guy that, hey, I'm not going to spend anything on you, but I'm still going to get what I need at the end of the day. And it's a selfish move. And this is what my friend said today. This is a selfish move where you have a whole girlfriend that has Valentine's Day next week or her birthday is coming up and you're going cheap on your girlfriend. I don't know, dog. That's that's a no for me. Like if it was me, future girlfriend, whoever she is out there in the universe, I would want to spend a good amount of money right i wouldn't say spend a million dollars on your girlfriend that's not what i'm saying but you want to pay good quality for good quality stuff if you want to really show that you care about somebody and let me tell you love is fragile right love is really extremely fragile when it comes down to relationships and you don't want to blow it you don't want to a show that you really don't care about this person you just again like i said earlier hit it and quit it you just want to come in and then dip out when the bill comes due that's not how you do it that's not how a true man and i'll say this I'm not trying to be sexist or anything but a true man will lay it down for his girlfriend and say hey i, I love you i want to do the best for you i want to give you the best now i may not can give you millions right because i tell a lot of people i've dated in fact i can't give you millions but I can give you a good, solid relationship. I can give you the kindness that you need. Um, and you, a lot of young ladies should understand and should should really uh, see the guy first, see what he's about. Because there's a lot of things that I've seen where a woman goes way too deep into the relationship. You don't really know this person you're trying to date. And then the, the, the guy might be a little crazy. The guy might be a little bit on the cheap side of things. The guy might become abusive. You know, there's a lot of things that, that young ladies are not seeing because they want to rush into love so much because we're all hopeless romantics. I'll be honest. I'll be honest right here on the show. I'm a hopeless romantic. I, I love romance. I really do enjoy the style of romance. I enjoy the history of romance i enjoy the culture of romance when i see a couple at emory university not just stalking and just watching them see i'm not just doing that but you know i glance over you can tell oh okay that's your that's your that's your date that's your girlfriend that's your boyfriend oh i get it you know when i see stuff like that i i kind of i get giddy a little bit because i'm a hopeless romantic i love love that's just how it uh, that's how i'm wired um that's just how i'm built love is is a wonderful thing out there in, in the universe and I think there's a lot of things that a lot of guys in our younger generation should be able to change, but you know, things are not changing, right? Things, guys, they, you know, there's some guys out there that, that just, you know, piddle paddle around with it. And it just, it sucks because now some women, when they've been hurt and you know, women do get hurt, men do get hurt as well, can go both ways, right? T, if somebody's been hurt by somebody else, when it comes to love, it's hard for them to love again. So when they go out and they venture out and they want to date again, it's hard for us because now 
that girl might have that different spectrum of oh oh a johnny b hurt me so i'm scared that that kenny k might might hurt me too because i've experienced pain before so i don't want to experience that again so i'm just going to kind of separate myself from the boyfriend girlfriend relationship scene because i've been hurt before and it, it sucks it really does suck that men hurt women and vice versa women hurt men because when you've been hurt you know you've been hurt and now it's it's is that trauma you know it is trauma it can be traumatic that trauma of being hurt by somebody and now you can't trust anybody else ever again because you've been hurt the first time so um like i do say our generation we do have to get better at that um i wanted to know comment below what are you guys' comments on that um do dudes have a a problem committing to girlfriends vice versa do uh young ladies women do they have a tough time committing to guys in pertains to boyfriends um i'll be honest i i don't have a hard time committing when it comes to the girlfriend scene uh personally for me and I, i'm not gonna go too personal but I'll, I'll be i'll share you know when i'm seeing someone right i gotta make sure they are up to par i have to make sure they're financially stable and i'm not saying you gotta have millions in the bank account right t but are you financially stable to the point where i don't have to be really worried so much about you um for me relationships for me i gotta go for somebody of my that's of my age you know i'm 25 years old i'll be honest i like to share 25 years old uh as of today i would want to go for somebody who is maybe 24 25 26 and up because for me i've matured at an early age right when it comes to relationships i had to mature because at the age of 20 years old i had my own apartment with a roommate shout out to connor Vanelli, but had my own apartment got my new car you know i've had to mature and grow up so fast because you know when i was an ra i messed around with my grades i wasn't making good enough grades and you know it was just the whole thing with that and you know i messed up and i had to get an apartment i had to get a job you know i had to do these things at an early fast age and i tell this to my emory students not the relationship part of it but i tell it to my emory students about the life of growing up and and getting a job during college because let me tell you t i see kids today and then students at emory you know when that when i'm in the emory offices uh, I see them. They're dog tired. They're exhausted. And I'm saying you guys got a long way to go because y'all haven't experienced the realm of being tired yet. You know, you are tired when you work the job and you, you're working for something and, and you're paying a bill and you're tired of that paying bill and you're cooking dinner. And these are the things you when you're doing all that and you say you're tired, that's when it's valid. Right. And I'm not saying it's valid for me i should take that back because i don't want to hurt people's feelings but you're you're tired when you get to that realm now a lot of young kids i see that oh i just did homework now i'm tired i just want to sleep you know when you get out here when you graduate because you know emory university that is our that students there they're the future right they're the next coming up generation getting that degree finding the job that they want and it's one of those things that if you if you say you're tired now oh it's gonna be a tough world when you get out there in the real world you got that job and then it's tax season you're paying taxes on something and you're paying back a loan or something like that so you know kids today and i don't want to sound like an old man to say oh kids today kids today they haven't experienced their grown-up life and i tell kids that when i'm at the emory office you know um i, I kind of educate and say hey this is this is happening this is what you got to do and you know uh when you get grown a little bit older you'll understand some things so when it comes to the relationship uh, thing uh, uh, relationship styles of, of stuff you know as you get older uh you experience some things right the next question i proposed and honestly this show might be an hour because there's just so much i got to talk about and i can't do this in 30 minutes so yeah you guys have been loving the hour episodes anyway but the next question i proposed and and see we talked about this um to we talked me and my friend we talked about it would you and this is a question and it's an open-ended question so anybody who's who's watching the, the show on, on youtube comment below if you're listening to it i'm sure um i don't know about spotify but i'm sure itunes you can have a little review you can write it in the review if you want but the question now proposed when you're in a committed relationship 
and you win something or you're successful at something let's just say um let's just say the guy had gotten a, a job promotion and he's dating the girlfriend and the girlfriend comes out and say hey i want to treat you to dinner my treat would you have your girlfriend pay for your bill or would you come out and pay for your bill some people might say it's an ego thing for me i guess it's an ego thing for myself i don't have a huge ego but i guess because my friend said hey no that's just your ego in the way again women can go out there and do whatever they want with their money there's no question about that women can go out and do that personally for me if i got a job promotion i would ask my girlfriend and say hey i want to go celebrate this special occasion can would you are you available to go out are you not working are you not busy can we go out no matter if it was my celebration of me getting the promotion i would slap out my wallet and say hey here's my bill or hey i'm gonna pay this bill this time i i got it i for personally for me again this is this is opinion y'all this is not a fact this is just something i experienced me growing up and doing things my way i am picking up the check as a as a man not to say that to say something else as a man i'm going to pick up the check now i don't believe in no uh, old tradition i'm new tradition women can do they're empowered to do anything they set their mind to but personally for me if i'm going on this date i'm going to pick up my wallet and say hey i got the check i got it no 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 i got it that's what i would do now there's a song out there jamie fox neo um she got her own i love that song by the way um some people might argue and say hey no women can treat their man out to eat women can pick up the, the check for their dinner if she wants to i would have it to where if if she just if she's refusing it she really absolutely want to pay maybe i might say hey hey boo um can i uh can, can you slide i'm gonna let you pay for it all right i'm, 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 I'm gonna let you get it i'm gonna let you pay for it um the waiter's coming can i uh can i can i hold your card and act like it's mine and pay for it that's what i would do now again a lot of people will say right t a lot of people say hey that's an ego thing uh, you got your ego overinflated ego in that i, I get it because my friend told me that today she said no that's just your ego talking kennedy like no i get it but for some reason that would just bother me if a woman if it we're going to cheesecake factory or Maggiano's. Let me tell you, Magiano's is really good. Y'all should sleep on Magiano. Um, and she goes out and say, okay, where's my pocketbook? Where's my purse? Let me pay for this check. I would say, no. No. Stop it. Put your card away. Stop it. Here, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Let me let me take care of it. I got this. Stop. Put your purse away. That I don't know. That's just it's 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 something that it's just one of those things that it, it happens i i it's, it's wild i i don't know a lot of people think hey you know she can take care of it and it, there's no doubt and i will tell her my, my future girlfriend whoever she is there's no doubt you can't pay this bill i got it there's no there's no doubt that you can pick up this check but boo boo let me take care of this right it's just me again i'm 25 a lot of people that are younger might beg to differ i just as i've been on dates and trust me i've been on dates before i've been on some great dates i've been on some not so great dates story for another day t but when i'm growing up me again i'm 25 I, i've been in this game for not as long the dating game not as long but i've been in the dating game i know a little bit about it and um i would want to pick up a check and pay for a bill i would want if i want to surprise my girlfriend on something special for her birthday and it's something she really 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 wanted i would say okay how much is it okay can i pay for it yeah let me pay for it you know this is one of those things is an open-ended question it's one of those things that it happens out there and i hope that everyone understands it and and maybe it can change the light of things so open in a question about dudes uh not wanting to commit and would you pay for uh would you have your girlfriend pay for your meal and i'm sorry that this question is really only for my my guy friends and my guy fans i guess um 
you can put it right verse versa too for my women out there because i do have some women that are listening to it and we can we can we can twist it up for the women's question as well do, why women some women don't commit and would you have and i guess the second question you can't say would you have your d pay for your mail i mean obviously but you, you can twist the question a little bit open in a question i want to hear from you guys because this was a great topic the conversation we talked about here today now we do have some more news to talk about but we do have to take a quick commercial break here on the show we'll be right back ladies and gentlemen klp aftermath we got tyrus lester in the building klp in the building that's me by the way of course bringing you guys another exciting show here today and you guys really been liking the hour-long episodes and i'm trying to i might keep the train of this going right because you know i give you guys more content for an hour versus just 30 minutes so maybe it's something that we might continue to do um, especially when we get into the summer season, season three of KLP Aftermath, where we really will have a lot more time. I probably will do that. Um, give you guys more options, more things, more things to talk about, because I really like to come on the radio show and to give you guys a full blown show. Cause a lot of podcasters, right? They're going 40 minutes to an hour when it comes to a podcast. I know Joe Budden's latest podcast, he did over two hours in podcasting. So it's, it's crazy how podcasting can take a long time long way up this so now we're going to talk about the juiciness of course of today's show because we do have some things to talk about of course pepsi and ihop made a maple syrup cola and of course a lot of people tried it of course this is a um heather martin she is the article writer from the today and this is what she says in her article so uh, my uh, credits to her maple syrup is not a side dish it shouldn't it shouldn't be at least my love hate relationship with nature's caramel spring from the chronic misuse the common practice of leaving a short stack of absolutely swimming in its criminal criminal even when it's a genuine article of course poor quality of intable uh intimate uh mabel flavor is far worse up excuse me far worse offense harsh overwhelming and deserving and explosion from polite culinary society of course so it's it was her way of spinning the article she she, she wrote it wrote it pretty well but of course pepsi and ihop did this collaboration to make the maple syrup cola um i probably won't try this because i am a huge health nut uh, i am big on fitness if you guys don't know about if you follow my uh, uh instagram uh, personal instagram and i say this very loosely because we did uh i did turn my personal instagram to a private instagram because of yesterday's episode i talked about my stalker so i had to change that to a private so if you want to follow me i have to review your instagram account first um, to see uh, to see if I can follow you guys, but you guys can follow the fitness videos on Emory Radio One as well. I'm a huge help nut, right? I, this this looks like sugar liquid diabetes in my opinion. Now it's just one of those things that this looks very unhealthy. Um, I get it, Pepsi and IHOP. You know, IHOP's a, a a great breakfast fast food chain. Pepsi's up there with Coca Cola when it comes to sugar uh, carbonated drinks there, but this is something that it's smart i don't see a lot of healthy people drinking this i drink coke when i have a headache that tells you something guys i don't drink sugary drinks like that anymore because as you guys know i have a trainer i go to a professional gym uh shout out to crunch snailville and uh crunch fitness and snailville shout out to you guys because you guys make sure i i stay healthy you're not gonna see me drinking this I will not buy this in stores just to cleanse my thirst. Now, I bet this this sounds tasty, right? Because you have it to where you're tasting the maple syrup when it comes to Pepsi. And this sounds like a good idea from a, a, a standpoint of business. This sounds like unhealthiness, though. This sounds like a lot of sugar because a lot the syrup is a very sugary type of condiment. And it's rare that I have syrup on my pancakes and waffles. Sometimes I'm eating my waffles naked. Um, sometimes I might have a little bit of jam with my, my pancakes, but it's rare that I have syrup. Unless if I'm going to IHOP, right? When they, we're having a, a company breakfast or we're having a family breakfast, yeah, I'm going to have a pancake. I'm going to slap some syrup on there. But to see that Pepsi and IHOP got their own cola, you know, I wouldn't add this to my budget. 
because if I went to the Kroger and saw this and picked this up, I would feel so disappointed in myself because I picked up this sugary, sugary, sugary drink and it's just not healthy. And now I can see a lot of people who are not on a diet, not trying to call out people, but there's some people who are not exercising and don't care about the weight. Um, I can see a lot of people not, uh, I can see a lot of people trying this and continuing to buy this. I, like I say, I hop in Pepsi. They know what they're doing. It's business sense. A lot of people will buy this. There's a lot, believe it or not, there's a lot of unhealthy people here in America, especially in Georgia. There is a lot of people who are not either working out. There's a lot of people who are diabetics and not taking care of better care of their weight gain and their weight regimen because of this and i don't see this i don't see myself buying this this sugary uh carbonated diabetes diabetes type of soda because this seems very unhealthy now i do drink some drinks right i, I drink lemonade orange juices up there and orange juice is pretty sugary too but you guys can catch me drinking water like today i had a big cup of ice water ain't nothing wrong with some ice water but congratulations to pepsi I just don't see this as happening so much for, for that. So the next and last topic of conversation that we're going to talk about here on KOP Aftermath, an hour long episode, is we're going to talk about that Clemson softball. You guys know how we do it. I'm a huge fan of softball. I've been following the SEC. I'm in just I'm in T, you know this because we, we, we go back and forth about this. I'm a huge uh, advocate, a huge sports nut when it comes to the women's uh, games like the women's basketball was really good um baseball was kicking back in the major leagues and of course the sec and college softball let me tell you i have so many friends who shout out to all the softball players at ggc um current and past i'm more talking about the alumni ggc softball because i know them more than i do the current softball players but shout out to ggc softball because that's been one of my favorite sports to to record and to broadcast and to do that but clemson softball completes a season sweep of game um uh, of, this says game cox I, I don't know what that means in this article of course but i'm going to read this article clemson competed a sweep of the rivalry season of south carolina oh south carolina Duh. on tuesday three to one john Rittman's tigers are three and one all time against south carolina outscoring the game cox that's a weird name for their mascot the, the south carolina game game cox that's a weird name 11 to 2 this season clemson 31 and 10 ranked as high as number 14 in the national softball american has won 10 in a row now while south carolina 23 and 18 with a five game winning streak snap tigers left-handed starter millie thompson nine to one worked out of uh, trouble uh, in the third inning by getting a ground a grinder <laughs> grounder with two out and two uh gamecocks in uh excuse me I'm trying to read this article in my phone, but uh, scoring positions, both teams have, were held to a single hit through three frames. Now, very good for Clemson. Clemson is a great school, by the way, y'all. Clemson is one of those schools that you you would want to go out there. But the Clemson Tigers, their uniforms are great, purple and, and orange, and they're really doing something really special with, with women's sports. I really have been enjoying the softball sec tournament so far because you have such great teams to come out and play and to really do it really well um and it's good to see that the clemson tigers are completing their their season uh with the south carolina that's been a rivalry for a very long time by the way t and it's very exciting to see these 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 women play because when again I'm a, I'm a huge advocate for my women's sports but there's just something and this is not me being a weirdo this is not me being a pervert right this is just me being a, a, a advocate for women in sports in general but to see that women's softball to see them play in this tournament this is one of those things that you just you never know what these women are going to do next they're fiery they're furious they're ready they're ready they, they came to play they came to win so it's just it's exciting and i and congratulations to the the clemson tigers for their season winning streak so far uh, against south carolina you know south carolina did win 
of course, uh, against in women's basketball, but maybe they're coming up short in this softball tournament. So this is something that's quite exciting. And I look forward to the future and the furtherness of SEC softball. So that's going to wrap it up here on today's show. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying today's show. And of course, if you're watching the video version of it, please thank you. Subscribe to the channel, KOP Entertainment and Daily Motion. And it's always appreciated. Hit that bell notification. Now, if you're listening to the show, the audio version here with us here live on the radio, Swinky 93 and Emory 94.6. Thank you. Share with your friends, letting you guys know that we were live today, tonight, into our episode of KOP Aftermath. So stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. We're going to be talking about so much more when it comes down to podcasting and uh that's it for us. Uh, of course, that's going to do it. KLP Aftermath with your KLP Kennedy Lucas T. We got T up in the building. Thank you all for staying tuned. And as always, I like to say, stay safe, stay swanky.